Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the switchboard calls example, where we're going to calculate some sums, maxis averages, and median values for the data we see here. And this, these are um, calls going through the switchboard at different hours during the day. You'll notice here that I've hidden the B column or made it very small at least. And that's because if I do calculations based on these and have a number, the, the actual hour there next to it, it will give me a lot of errors about uh, um, numbers in adjacent cells. And I don't want those errors. So that's why that uh, empty little column is there. Um, so instead we're going to do a um, sum here. And I can of course type that in. The sum of these values equals always. And then sum is the calculation I want to do. And then from C4 to G4. So uh, now, since this is the same calculation all the way down, I can actually do a fill down on all these values here. So that's very useful. I'm do that. Then we have all the sums for each hour. This column is actually not needed, so I'm going to go ahead and right click that and delete the whole column. Of course, I can also change the cell numbering, sorry, the cell styles, and get this as inputs and this as calculations, making it a lot more nice looking in my opinion. And this is, of course, also going to be calculations, all of it. So let's do that right away while we're at it. So the next is a sum here. I'm going to do an auto sum again. And that will give me an almost correct suggestion. Whoops, I'm going to do this one, not the empty row though. And there I can fill out to the right because we're always calculating the cells above there. So I can just fill up out to the right. And then I can do the other ones here. Max, max. And I want to do the max of these values right there. And I want to do the average of these values again. And the median of these values. All right. And now I can just fill all those three that I already did. Select those, and then I can just fill them all the way over there. I can also minimize the number of decimals. One decimal is just perfect, I think. So that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.